Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another card making video. Today I have a really, really fun stepper card for you. This is my Candy Hearts stepper card. Isn't that fun with those big candy hearts there in the center? I love that sentiment down there, our love is so sweet. And then there is of course a spot on the back for your message. What makes this stepper card different is that it is more of a portrait style than a landscape style. A lot of times stepper cards tend to be more wide than tall, but this version is a five by seven, so it stands seven inches tall. It's super simple to put together and I can't wait to show it to you. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step 1. Get the free SVG cut file. Okay, here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. If you haven't signed up for a membership, you can go ahead and click the sign up button. You'll be taken to a page with all of the information for our different membership tiers. We have free, monthly, and annual memberships for you to choose from. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. I'll go ahead and type in my email address and password and log in. And now we are logged into our account. To access the file library, you can come up to the files tab and select file library. And now you're brought to all the files. For this project, you're going to want to look for number 161. That is the Candy Hearts stepper card. Go ahead and click the download link and download the file to your computer. Make sure to unzip the file and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2 Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open and Upload. Highlight the image and click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines in any text. Now that the file has been brought into our canvas, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. And now we need to do some converting to some of the score lines and then all of the text as well. So let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Highlight the score line. Come up to the operation menu and change that to score. Highlight the group and attach. We need to do the same thing for the two pieces of the stepper card. So scroll down the layers panel, find the score line, change that to score, highlight the group, and attach. And the second piece, do the same thing. And now we need to convert all of the text to pen because we want the Cricut to draw on all of the little sayings and the sentiment layer. So let's scroll down the layers panel and first let's start with the sentiment layer. Highlight the text. Come up to the operation menu and change that to pen. You can change the color here if you wish. While we're here in design space, I'm going to leave everything as black. But when I go to cut everything out, I'm going to be using a red pen. Highlight the group and attach. And now for the five different hearts, just start changing that text to pen. Highlight the group and attach. Just keep scrolling down the layers panel until you have all of those completed. Okay, so when everything is all set, we'll have the score lines converted for the envelope for the two pieces of the stepper card, and then the text converted to pen on all of the candy hearts, as well as the sentiment layer. We can go ahead and click make it. I'll be using the mat for this project. You'll see the different mats for this card. I also wanna let you know that this darker purple color and then this lighter purple 
Those are your pattern papers. So I'm going to use two different kinds of pattern paper on the stepper card. So I just want you to be aware that this color and this color are your pattern paper pieces. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and click continue. I'll be using medium cardstock for this card. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, now that everything has been cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach our two pieces for our stepper card. So the back piece has the little cuts here to make these little arms, and then there's a score line here, and then a score line at the bottom of those arms. And then the front piece has the arms here and then a couple score lines on the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this top score line right here. Can you see that? There you go. Fold that as a mountain fold. And now those two score lines at the bottom of those arms fold as mountain folds as well. Go ahead and burnish everything. Flip that over and set that to the side for just a second. Now the front piece, there are two score lines on each arm. The first one you're going to fold as a mountain fold. The second fold will be a valley fold. Okay, it might seem a little wobbly, but when we attach everything together, it'll be nice and strong. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add glue here on this tab. You want the tab facing up. Take your front piece and attach the center piece together. And make sure that that's nice and aligned. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add glue to those smaller arm pieces and then line up the cut edge with the score line on the back piece. All right, we can do that for the other side here. All right. So now we have our 5x7 stepper card. Okay, so I'm going to fold that nice and flat and then I'm going to burnish again. And there's our card base. I'm going to let that just dry so that those arms can get nice and secure. And I'm going to go ahead and mat and layer our messaging panel for the back. I'll set that to the side. Now let's go ahead and mat and layer our sentiment layer. Just like so. Let's let that dry for just a second. We can go ahead and add our cover panels to the arms and then our main cover panel to the center. Okay, so that fun uh, 
candy heart paper that I have there on the sides and then that pretty pink paper there in the center. Now we're going to add our sentiment layer to the bottom of the front. Now we can flip the card over and add our messaging panel. Okay, now we can go ahead and just decorate the front. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the larger candy hearts and I kind of like them to be over the edge just a little bit. And now we can place our smaller candy hearts wherever you prefer. So there is our stepper card. Isn't that cool? I'm going to set that to the side so I can show you how to make the envelope. So for the envelope, we're just going to fold and burnish along the score lines. Take the inlay panel and add glue along the outer edge of that inlay. Flip the inlay over and add that onto the envelope flap with the cutout. Spin that envelope around and fold those side flaps in. Add your glue along the bottom edge of the side flaps. And then with your thumbs, go ahead and push up on that bottom flap and press. And that forms our envelope. And our fun little card is all set. How cute is this card? I love how it turned out. That taller stepper card just makes it look completely different and it's super fun. Those candy hearts are awesome. You can totally add more if you want. You can uh, change out the sentiments by deleting the text layer and adding your own text on top of the card piece. You can change the colors as for anyone's, if someone has a particular flavor that they love of candy hearts. My mom loved the white ones and the pink ones, but there's so much customization that you can do with this. Throw in some different pattern paper and totally make it your own. I hope that you make this one. If you do make it, make sure to post it in our Facebook group. We have thousands of card making friends who love to inspire and motivate each other and we would love to see your creations. There's a link down below for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife and I'll see you at the next card making video. Bye!